Hi everyone! In this video, I wanted to discuss something I've been hearing about a lot and I wanted to try for a while and finally got myself into journaling. If you're new to this channel, then hi and welcome. My name is Nastya. I talk about life, languages, and tech. Subscribe to my channel if you're interested in any of those. And without any further ado, let's get started. There are many studies that have shown the benefits of journaling. A study published in the Journal of Clinical Psychology found that journaling can reduce the symptoms of depression and anxiety. And other studies have found that journaling can improve your self-esteem, help process and make sense of stressful situations, cope with chronic illnesses, and also boost your immune system by reducing stress and increasing antibody levels. In addition, in one of my previous videos, I said that journaling can be used as a language learning tool. For those of you who are learning English and French, this could be an additional writing practice. So there are a lot of good things in journaling, but if it was as easy as just knowing that something is good for you to actually implement the thing into your life, you know? If it was the case, then everyone would live the most healthy and sustainable life. But I always knew that journaling was kind of a thing, but I always had blockers, so I couldn't really start doing so. One blocker was that I always felt like I didn't have time. And uh, most importantly, the second one is that I never knew or what to write down. I felt stupid staring at a blank page, not knowing what to write down. When I tried it for the first time, I ended up with writing some silly things like what I did, what I ate during that day, and it didn't feel productive or useful. So obviously I did not acquire the habit of journaling back then. If you are on the same page as I was, at that time, then probably this video can be useful to you as I found, I think, a quite simple solution for those of you who want to start a journaling and don't know where to start. Buy or create a notebook with pre-made prompts. So if the issue is to know what to write, to have some kind of direction, then you can find the direction or create it for yourself. And in this video, I'll share a particular notebook that I found. It is Notes to Mindfulness by Intelligence Change. This is no promotion. I don't have any affiliate links. I'm not paid to say this. Uh, it's just a genuine recommendation because I like to share things that work out for me. A couple of months ago, it was just before New Year's Eve, and uh, I was looking at different e-commerces for holiday gifts, and I checked out a website that a brand that I already knew it existed. It's Intelligent Change, and I was surprised to see that they have a lot of new products, and I got excited when I saw this journal on their website. And in this video, I want to show you why exactly this journal helps me. Also, I just want to share to give you a quick overview in case if you want to buy it. And also, we'll discuss another option of how you can kind of recreate this journal if you do not want to spend money, which is understandable. You don't have to. So uh, the main purpose is that this gives you inspiration and as always, ideas for action. So I now have two of them and that's because I bought a new one so I can review it and show it all to you uh, because mine is almost done. I am more than halfway through uh, making my notes. Hi, Floki. Uh, and uh, obviously I don't want anyone to see what I'm writing. So I'm gonna be reviewing the new one. I'm sorry, Floki. And the first thing I wanted to say is about packaging. I know eco-friendliness for some will be deal breaker. If it is not for you, just use the timestamps. But just quickly on the packaging and the product. The packaging did not include any plastic wrappings and materials. So it was literally just one box and the journal inside of it, and that's it. Also, the journal itself is 100% recyclable. So it is all natural materials, the bookmarks, the linen cover, and the obviously paper pages. All of it is recyclable, and once you're done with it, you just can go and recycle it. 
this is nice. The only thing I will say though is that uh, the material overall is very nice on your hand and it looks nice, but I've been using mine now for uh, a couple of months and now the fabric is peeling so it has it has some peels in it and uh, it kind of feels softer than the new one so it does look a little bit well used but this is i think this is not a big deal anyways overall the quality of the journal of its externals is quite good and now let's open the journal and discuss the structure so you've got one spread of the journal for one day on the left page, you've got some prompts. So the journal is gonna ask you, what are you noticing today about your morning routine, about gratitude? So basically, what are you grateful for and what are you celebrating today? And also actions, three important actions I can take to help my day feel successful. And uh, on the right, you've got plenty of space for creative writing. I like about it that every day that I open my journal, I can see the prompts and it gets me writing easier. So there is less friction. But of course, at the beginning, I still felt stuck a little bit and that's when the instructions come in handy. Actually, there is a table of contents and you can see all the sections. So there is intention setting. My intention with the journal is well, it's better to write it to be clear about your goal and why are you doing this. Uh, then there are some tips and tricks on how to use the journal. So basically, this is going to tell you more about the prompts. For instance, uh, the one about the gratitude. Uh, what are you celebrating? This is to tune you into what you are actively grateful for. We often wait for big things to happen before we consider celebrating. But I love reframing celebration as an everyday occurrence. So you can dive deeper and to learn the meanings behind all of those prompts. And also one of my favorite sections is the examples. So uh, the journal has some examples of what you can actually write. In the gratitude section, since we're already discussing this, you could write the sunshine. It felt so good to be outside with everyone. And then last night's dinner and game night, I love those. And the third thing, the text from my sister, she's so good to me, mom too. So if finding or what to write is your big problem, having these prompts and examples could probably be very useful to you. Another thing that I like a lot is additional prompts. So these are some questions that you can use to reflect on for creative writing. So on the right page of each spread, there is a lot of space for you to write anything you want. And uh, if you don't really have anything on your mind, or one of the options you've got is to open this section and to find a prompt that you like and you want to reflect on. Uh, they are all divided into multiple sections like mindful actions, fulfillment and creativity, emotional awareness, and morning routine. I use them sometimes and I do think they come quite in handy. And also the imagery, I think it is it is nice, it is beautiful. There are some pages with imagery, sometimes there is inspirational quote and it's uh, nice to be getting them every now and then. Uh, in the instructions, you'll also find recipe for change. It's a section with tips for staying consistent. I like the tips. Very simple, uh, one of them is to have a why, and this is exactly what I mentioned, just reflect on what do you think journaling is gonna bring you. Uh, and also another one that I really like is keep it easy. For example, tell yourself you're going to write at least two sentences a day and build from there. And it sounds like something uh, like starting small and uh, then uh, doing more and more and more each time. It's something that's uh, kind of easier to do than to start uh, writing a lot right away. Obviously, guys, you don't have to buy the journal to actually do the same. You can just buy a regular notebook and uh, write down some prompts that you really like, some questions that you, you want to answer every day on your first page and reference it every night when you start journaling. Personally, for me, this option is less friction and uh, I didn't mind supporting this brand and buying this thing. I leave the link in the description, but it is just a regular link. You can find the brand yourself. It is not affiliate or anything. 
And now one more thing that I wanted to show you in this journal, something that I haven't really used it in. It's monthly streak keeper. So that's a section that can help you to develop new habits and to keep track of all your habits and how are you doing. And basically, I think you can use the section for creating journaling habits. So yeah, I'm, I don't really like to have habit trackers in this format. I'm more Notion or Google document person. Uh, but another thing that I personally like in the journal is memory collection. So uh, at the very end of the book, the journal, they have an additional spread for you to write down your favorite memories and say, just create a bullet list of your favorite memories and places. So you can reference it when you feel down or upset uh, and you want to, you want to be reminded of how good your life is and how many amazing moments you had. And I, uh, I didn't even notice it first. So uh, I'm already done with the journal and I just noticed it and just started writing down the memories. But uh, it does feel nice. So that's uh, another thing you can implement in your notebook if um, you want to create your own. I will say I do think there are uh, some drawbacks in this journal. First of all, the instructions at the beginning, they take quite a few pages. So if it's not your first journal and uh, you already know what the instructions include, then it is a little bit annoying that they take so much space. It feels like waste of paper, though I do think it is useful to have the prompts maybe examples to remind yourself how to use the journal, what you could write. That's one thing, but it's not really a big deal. Also, another thing is I think I don't like all the prompts. So the prompt about morning routine, it just asks you, did I follow through with my morning routine today? Yes, no, and then you describe how you felt. I think it is helpful if you want to change your morning routine and you want to reflect on this. So that's why in the beginning I found this prompt useful as it helped me to improve my morning routine. But once it is improved, it is the same every day. I do it every day and uh, it feels a little bit silly to write down what I felt about my morning routine. I don't know what's, uh, maybe I'm misunderstanding the intention behind the prompt, but usually I write what I felt in the morning. Uh, so that's the way I kind of use the prompt. But other than that, the quality is there. Uh, prompts are good. There are also a weekly or monthly check ins is going to make you reflect on your priorities on things you want to do less or more and uh, i think this is quite nice to summarize a little bit everything i said in the video journaling can be super helpful for you if you're someone who suffers from depression anxiety or just overall daily stress but many people struggle to start journaling and i was one of them and the main reason why is because we get stuck when we see an empty page and we do not know what to write. One of the solutions to the problems is to have prompts, to come up with questions or prompts that will get you going before you sit down and uh, start writing in your journal. One of the ways to do so is to buy a journal like this, Notes to Mindfulness by Intelligence Change, that will have lots of prompts for you and a lot of fun stuff as well, like strike keeper, memories collection, motivational quotes, um, some monthly check-ins and tasks like to draw something, it's called art prompt. Uh, and the journal is gonna contain some pieces of advice, some ideas and prompts, additional prompts that you can use to reflect on. Uh, another idea that will, co will probably not cost you anything or less money is to come up with your own prompts and uh, to make sure they are accessible to you when you start journaling. For instance, you can have them at the front of your journal at the very beginning so you can use them when you want to journal. Hope you all enjoyed this video and found it useful. If so, like it and subscribe it. And I'll see you in my next one.